which should be less than fun, and my audio is glitching out, my frame rate is going down, but whatever, I don't care. Let's see, can we hop down here and spray all this? Hopefully accomplish something. Nah, I didn't figure that would have the tear away walls, but always safe to check, I guess. What? I, like, nullified my momentum because I was already going up so... What? How did it nullify my charging? Whatever. Whatever. I will head back over here because this is... Yeah, I have to admit, in retrospect, it is a little hard to do this kind of precision platforming with the hover Earth or rocket nozzle. And I'm sure I got all of these, but I'd just like to check, so yes, I can mark those two off my checklist. Well, the checklist in my mind, like a windmill. Or something like that. Okay, so I might technically be able to go... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it up. Okay, well, this is the very last point at which I could be starting the third part in this current recording session, so I kind of doubt this is probably going to be like in the some point after the start of the third, and it's going to be an obscure thing to say. Okay, I'm, I'm serious. That's not really fair. That's not, it's not like it's obviously marked or it's a poison one-up or something crazy like that. It is basically solely there to dick over people who want an easy one-up, and apparently that's what that little alcove is for. It wasn't even full last time I was, or last times I was checking there, that was confusing me, but... Oh well, apparently it was too much to expect the game not to be a dick to me, for no reason. Okay, I can't quite make that, ha ha ha. What is going on over here? It looks like I... Oh, that's just the tricky ruin. What am I thinking? Man, these parts are going to be comical how long I'm taking to look for things, and I'm going to upload them anyway because I feel bad not uploading as much because I don't have as many opportunities. Oh well. I really, after I have some time to get my bearings, I should probably be able to start updating with fresh videos every day. Fresh, I mean, recorded the night before. Heck, when, like, Super Wario Mother's Wii comes out, I'll probably even make efforts to do it the day I upload them, or upload them the day I record them, because that's the way I can be the most of a whore, I guess. I'm sure you guys will forgive me for that, because, I mean, technically it's not... It's like an unfairish tactic, but at the same time, people want videos of brand new video games, so... Am I really the unfair one, or is it the person who, by their self-imposed principle, refuses to update with what the people actually want? I'll leave you to chew on that as I continue going to areas I've already thoroughly explored, looking for mysterious blue coins that simply are not there. Yeah, if the sadly plausible scenario of me not getting the rest of the blue coins in this video, or video segment, appears. If you could, if someone who was paying attention could, like, knew one I was very obviously missing now that I've given this distress call, uh, it would be quite appreciated if... I was given some kind of hint at which direction I want to be going in. Please. Okay, we could get the turbo nozzle, but that's probably going to complicate matters. I'm just going to drop on down with Mario's insanely low terminal velocity in all its glory. And basically just swim through some of the ones. Why am I not getting the ones that are closer together? Because that would work better. Uh, Okay, this is actually a pretty good amount. I mean, if you drop straight down with no wasting time, and or, I mean, if you were good at the turbo nozzle, certainly that would be to your benefit, but even like this, uh, 
just going down immediately gets you most of them, and this level is no is by no means void of coins, despite the fact I'm making it look as much taking this long. Whatever, I'll take the. Okay, I thought that was gonna punch me away. But yeah, I'll take every single coin I can get, despite the fact there's a bunch of secret passageways utterly and totally filled with them that I could be getting, and I'm completely uh, ignoring. So yeah, I'm just gonna open up this crap again. So if any of those had blue coins, I already got them. What am I supposed to do to open up that one? Seriously. That seems very, 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 very situational when it wants to open or not. Oh well. I guess sporadic is a word I'm looking for more than situational, but I can't imagine anyone's going to be overly upset by me not using the word sporadic any more than I normally do. And that stupid bird could have been bad, but it wasn't really so. My regards to you for not being a dick like that, Nintendo. So let's try what will likely take me too many attempts for comfort. Yes, I totally forgot about that charge time. That is a rather significant part of the rockin' nozzle, unfortunately. Also, you should be able to use this to rock it up from underwater really quickly, because I'm probably in all likelihood going to... I have, I have a brilliant idea. I'm going to go underwater, leaving the coin trail for me to go back up with. And yeah, this thing just acts completely pathetic underwater like would make logical sense. I don't really want to eat them off the tail, but... Okay, fine. How about I just quit caring about one-ups, because... I'll get two with the 100 coin star if I don't die. Well, I already have one of them, but still. Pretty sure this follows the 50 coins equals one one-up rule. Like all the other Mario 3D games. It's a bit interesting that they brought it down from 100, but now they have the spiritual successor in the 100 coin star slash shine sprite slash purple coin challenge, which is really easy and kind of dumb. But oh well. I'm thinking this might be a more efficient method, if less manly, of getting the coins here. And with that, I could probably get the 100 coin star and at least quit embarrassing myself for a little bit. I'll just dwell on that for a while without... And maybe you'll forget how I basically spent a half hour looking for blue coins in places that I had already completely uh, finished looking at. I don't know. Wow, this is worse to control than the hover no or turbo nozzle, and the turbo nozzle isn't actually that bad to control. Look. Abandoned ship. You are not known for your bravery, were you, Captain Mario? Or, you are not known for your ability not to shrink for absolutely no sodding reason, were you, ship? A fine pair you are. But anyway, I have—I don't know if I mentioned this or not yet, but it's worth mentioning again. This is pretty much, far and away, the most atmospheric level in Super Mario Sunshine. And for a game that actually put effort into that, if it's, its levels, that is something considerable. So good job for that, Noki Bay. <sighs> I am seriously not seeing... Okay, so apparently there's a rocket nozzle with a blue coin next to it. Where did that go? I forgot to be paying attention during the cutscene for it. That is a bit of a bummer. I'm just gonna go over these out of paranoia. Okay, I don't think they have any secret communist coins that they're hiding from me. Anyway, according to my guide, which... I don't know if it's accurate or not, and it's not being specific if it's certain levels or something, but... It says there's a rocket nozzle with a coin up in the alcoves, and I would assume that's the alcove one I'm missing, because I'm pretty sure I'd be missing one if I have 28, and I don't know where two are. And, as I've complained about recently, or previously, uh... 
this is not the world's best game at making it obvious where, or the world's best level at making it obvious where the, where the <laughs> sodding blue coins are, even though I have a guide telling me vague locations of all of them, or more like descriptions of where they are, and unfortunately all of them have the same description, or a third of them, not quite a third of them, but it's a considerably larger number than most, I guess. So, is it over here or something? I can't really... F it's apparently high above the highs of that alcove full of dick one-ups. That would be it. <laughs>